The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the prophet Hosea. Israel, come back to Yahweh your God. Your guilt was the cause of your downfall. Provide yourself with words and come back to Yahweh. Say to him, take all guilt away and give us what is good. Instead of bulls, we will dedicate to you our lips. Assyria cannot save us. We will not ride horses anymore or say, our God, to our own handiwork. For you are the one in whom orphans find compassion. I shall cure them of their disloyalty. I shall love them with all my heart. For my anger has turned away from them. I shall fall like dew on Israel. He will bloom like the lily and thrust out roots like the cedar of Lebanon. He will put out new shoots. He will have the beauty of the olive tree and the fragrance of Lebanon. They will come back to live in my shade. They will grow wheat again. They will make the vine flourish. Their wine will be as famous as Lebanon's. What has Ephraim to do with idols anymore when I hear him and watch over him? I am like an evergreen cypress. You owe your fruitfulness to me. Let the wise understand these words. Let the intelligent grasp their meaning. For Yahweh's ways are straight, and the upright will walk in them. But sinners will stumble. And our response is taken from Psalm 81. I freed his shoulder from the burden. His hands were able to lay aside the laborer's basket. You cried out in your distress, so I rescued you. Hidden in the storm, I answered you. I tested you at the waters of Meribah. Listen, my people, while I give you warning. Israel, if only you would listen to me. You shall have no strange gods, shall worship no alien god. I, Yahweh, am your God, who brought you here from Egypt. You have only to open your mouth for me to fill it. My people would not listen to me. Israel would have none of me. At one stroke, I would subdue their enemies, turn my hand against their opponents. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. One of the scribes who had listened to them debating appreciated that Jesus had given a good answer and put a further question to him. Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, this is the first. Listen, Israel, the Lord our God is the one only Lord. And you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, you must love your neighbor as yourself. There is no greater commandment than these. The scribe said to him, well spoken master, what you have said is true, that he is one and there is no other. To love him with all your heart, with all your understanding and strength and to love your neighbor as yourself this is far more important than any burnt offering or sacrifice. Jesus, seeing how wisely he had spoken, said, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And after that, no one dared to question him anymore. The Gospel of the Lord.